out uh, let us uh, look some common file uh, files and uh, their uses in linux so uh, some some of the files are uh, very useful uh, if you use them correctly and uh, uh, dot profile is a important file which is located in home directory uh, which you can use uh, to initialize some of uh, uh, you know the variables and uh, you can use some of the commands uh, if you if you as soon as you log in this uh, dot profile uh, files uh, is file is executed and dot profile uh, dot profile may might contain uh, commands useful commands like uh, alias command so i will just uh, show you uh, one use case of dot profile so let me show you my dot profile uh, file content so here you can see my dot profile uh, contains uh, these two commands uh, are added by me echo zero system class backlight acpl video zero brightness this this is actually the file which sets brightness of your screen as soon as you log in dot profile uh, file is executed and in turn this command is executed first so hash is actually uh, these are commands and uh, echo file is the first command that is executed when you log in echo zero so now my brightness is set to minimum value and my second command is alias get me is equal to sudo get uh, app get install so alias uh, is if you uh, actually alias is used to used to alias this command or uh, get me is now equivalent to sudo app get install so in order to install any software I need not type sudo app get install. Instead, I can just type get me. Get me and uh, followed by the software name, which is equal to this command. So these commands are uh, these uh, commands are executed as you as soon as you log in. So dot profile file is very helpful in that way. So you can put some commands here which you want to execute frequently or you know when you log in to your system so that's one use case of dot profile and uh, another important file is uh, etc uh, so create etc rc dot local so you can use your favorite editors in order to edit these files just uh, this is actually uh, RC dot file is executed in run level when you just uh, start your system and uh, after uh, all kernel and kernel sources are loaded on this RAM afterwards uh, run level starts and uh, in run level this RC dot local file is uh, executed so uh, this is this is actually executed in uh, super user mode and so we need not use sudo in this case uh, so ch mode but uh, anyways if you want to edit this file you should be root user so if you are using uh, vi editor make sure you type sudo and followed by uh, v vi or vm vim v, uh, whatever or nano some of the guys use nano editor it's a basic editor and uh, so you can modify these files using uh, your favorite editors so that uh, you can run any command at any run level of Linux system. So this is the second useful file rc.local and uh, some, of other, some of the other uh, commands which might be helpful for you guys is uh, ls mode. So ls mode is actually uh, listing kernel modules that are currently loaded so here you can see so many um, kernel modules are loaded so
for sound that we acquire at GMI so uh, mostly sound or um, device drivers and uh, uh, UVC video is uh, actually a display driver and uh, Dell laptop for Dell uh, power management and things like that and uh, uh, my graphic driver is FGLRX which is a proprietary driver so you can just uh, check whether this driver is loaded so FGLRX so I'll just uh, searching for FGLRX uh, after LS mode output so here you can see FGLRX driver so FGLRX if I remove this uh, driver my display won't work so that's the practical uh, importance of this uh, device driver and uh, my Wi-Fi driver is WL so let me see that too so LS mode wrap WL here we go here you can see that WL is loaded lib80211 is uh, Wi-Fi library and it's using WL so if I uh, if I remove this module my uh, Wi-Fi won't work and uh, I cannot connect to internet and uh, this is another uh, important command uh, where you can if you if you have some troubles in connecting to Wi-Fi you can check if modules are loaded or not and uh, LS mode 